What encouraged you to become a natural health professional? Um, I've always been really sort of caring um, and found myself in guiding roles, particularly around health. Um, I've always been really interested in natural therapies as well, so it just made sense to sort of combine the two, um, especially when I was like with um, old workmates and things like that. I was always helping them out with their own personal health goals and stuff, so it just makes sense because it's something that feels really intuitive and personally guided. So, um, yeah, that's just the path I decided to take. Great. How do you go about setting professional or personal goals and tracking your progress towards them? Um, so I set, um, I always do like yearly goals at the start of the year and then throughout the year I'll do um, like setting daily or weekly or even monthly tasks um, using like timetables and schedules. Uh, using goal sheets I find is really good because it gives you the visual aspect. You can tick it off and break it down into sort of smaller milestones, which you can also do tick offs and stuff. And doing um, quarterly check ins to see how I'm tracking as well. So um, I reflect on the months that I've been and gives me an opportunity to acknowledge the achievements that I've made and also readjust anything that might need to be readjusted regarding like if I need to, um, if I'm ahead of the schedule or if I'm behind in schedule, it just gives me a chance to sort of reflect on that. Okay. How do you maintain professionalism while also being empathetic and compassionate with clients? Um, well, honesty is the best policy and being authentic and honest in your approach, I believe, is always the best way um, when dealing with clients and just maintaining those really clear boundaries as well. Um, keeping the focal point on the client and their goals, um, asking them co- like questions that are directed at them, um, being kind and present and just, yeah, clearly stating the nature of the relationship. So like saying like as as your practitioner I so and so and when um, sort of allocating times of communication just say if you need any other support or you need um, support outside of this appointment you can contact me between the hours of blah blah via uh, email or whatsapp or whatever so just being really clear with those boundaries and the appropriateness of the relationship great how do you ensure cultural sensitivity with your clients? Again, just being really um, sort of mindful and present when working with the client, um, being really open and honest and asking those open-ended questions regarding their culture and their experiences and ask them if they have any boundaries that I need to be aware of that I may not be um, regarding like cultural or religion and things like that. And if I still feel a bit of unsure energy or anything like that, I'll do even my own background research regarding that culture just to get a bit more of an understanding. Great. Can you share an example of when self-care positively impacted your professional life? Every morning I start with a meditation and journaling practice and I close each day with a journaling practice as well. And this practice, I set my intention in the morning and I um, set a goal, I guess, for the day. And then at the end of it, I write down if there's anything I learned or if there's anything I can improve, anything that I received during the day. And these allow me to appreciate the the lessons or the experiences that I had throughout the days and it's particularly helpful on those like tougher days that things may f- feel like they didn't go so well and it lets you see the sort of the gifts that were given throughout the day so that's really made a really good impact on my personal mel- mental health. Great. How would you promote mindfulness and self-care among your team or colleagues? Uh, again, I'm just always going to be a preacher of uh, meditation and journaling. I think it's been a massive help for me personally, and I believe other people can also benefit from it. Um, breath work as well has been a massive cornerstone, like the box breathing method or the box breathing um, method that's been modified for an extended exhale. Um, just taking a moment to stop and breathe and centre yourself, I think that's a really beautiful catalyst and um, taking time out in nature.